the apostles, the apostles had little faith in this instance for some reason. I don't know, was their faith smaller than a mustard seed? Mustard seed is about the size of a poppy seed, tiny, but it can grow to, a, to like a 10-foot bush. Mustard seed is pretty small. And if we have that size, faith, the size of a mustard seed, we can move mountains. Anyway, we want to have a stronger faith. Uh, one way to lose our faith would be to forget to pray, forget about God, and live in a totally natural life, totally, you know, come and going, people you meet, whatever, whatever you ex experience, whatever happens to you, you react, you react to it, as uh, so many people today do. They have no, no faith because they're living only for the senses. But we live by faith. We strive to live by faith. And how do we do that? By praying, by calling to mind the presence of God all, all the time, all day long, calling to mind the presence of God and doing things for the specific, purposeful intention of serving God, pleasing God, doing His will, doing what He wants. Um, guided by the light of faith, by the light of the teachings of Jesus, living our life by the commandments of, of our Lord, his guidance, living by faith and praying all the time, trying to pray, trying to pray all the time, talking to God. And uh, it's, it becomes easier to practice faith the more we love God. The more we love God, the more we will want to think about Him. We will want to serve Him and please Him and do what makes Him happy. The more we love God is, uh, is faith on steroids, you could say, is faith on turbocharged faith. The more we love God, the stronger our faith will be. So we want to combine love with, with faith, praying more and more. And it's easier as well, knowing that uh, our religion, our faith, is, is a personal relationship with a person, three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and Our Lady, fostering that relationship stronger and stronger, that love relationship with them. So we want to have a <clears throat> very strong faith. When St. Dominic Savio appeared to Don Bosco, after, Don ba after Dominic Savio had died, um, he appeared to him and one of the things he said, uh, he showed him a whole crowd of people that Don Bosco had helped to get to heaven down through the centuries from his sales and order that he established. And Dominic said, uh, you would have many, many, many more followers if you had more faith. And he had a lot of followers and a lot of souls that he had saved, but he would save more if he had more faith. So we want to, you know, have a strong faith too. Let us, uh, we pray for, to Our Lady, who is the, the invincible, the one with the invincible faith and trust in God uh, and uh, to live a life as if we see God in everything we see, see him face to face here on earth, live as if we do in the Eucharist, <clears throat> and as we go about our daily duties, working for God.